Here we go. Here we go. I am live. Live from the hive. I wish I'd thought of that when I wrote the title. That sounds amazing. I was a co working space. Shout out to Mitch, who got me this very obscure place to do this with very weird lighting. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. I am here and I have beer. I'm rhyming a lot. Let's get this going. Hell yeah, I have I have had Omnipolo Brewery beers before, but come on, this is like, this is a solid piece of art, right? And what's awesome about Omnipolo is the artiste is one of the founders of the brewery from back in 2010 when they started. So let's crack this open, learn a little bit more about Omnipolo, and uh, hopefully have an outstanding beer. This is uh, an IPA, it is, hold on. Let's do that thing we do where we show it to the camera. And you're expecting to see yourself in there. It is not particularly reflective. It's called Phantom. It's a 6.1. What else do we know about it? Well, we can find out. It's a little anonymous at the moment. Let's, let's have a little guess. The smell. Mm. Classic Citra, of course. All IPAs have Citra. Um, Important. And the glassware is outstanding. Check that out. That's going to focus on that. Trash Panda. That was creepy as hell on camera. All right. Pour that out. Once again, execute the usual. Do not pour beer on your laptop. It's only happened about seven or eight times. Uh, I'll tell you the story one day about how I destroyed two laptops simultaneously by smashing a bottle of wine on them. That's pretty awesome. That's really nice and murky, isn't it? Whoa, it's Danky. Stinky Danky. Shout out to Mike. Hey, Mike, watch it live. Uh, what time is it? Good God. Brave, 10.30 at night. Cheers. It's Nelson's, it's, it's Nelson's not bad, or Enigma, or it, it's Kiwi plus West Coast. Let's, let's do that. Let's look it up. It's really an absolute winner. If you find yourself, with, you know, let's learn about, let's learn about Omnipolo. Omnipolo is pretty achievable at different parts of the world because of their kind of internationalists. And just give me two seconds to try and get this up here. We can learn. And there's Phantom. There we go. There's Phantom. Found it. No spoilers. There we go. Let's, bring this. let's boost that. Inaugural IPA. Inaugural IPA. Blend a soft, yeah, soft malt. And wheat and oats, yes, very clear by its uh, ridiculous opaqueness. And dank citra and Nelson Sauve hops. Fair and invigorating. I am invigorated. I think that's fair. 6.1, brewed at Omnipolos. I don't know how to say that. I'm going to go Kirka. I'm guessing that's maybe Swedish for brewery. Anyone in the, uh, watching now or in the future, that would be good. And... Uh, in Sweden and in Brunswick Beer Works in Canada. So it's like a see, it's a kind of weird international thing. Artwork by Carl Grandin, who is alongside Henuk, the founders. So there we go, a little private message from them. Uh, I got this at a Loblaws, if you can believe that. Who knew? You can buy beer at grocery stores in Canada now. That was never like that before. It's usually just LCBO and beer store and ugh. So going in for a second slurp, we got a lot more citra now. I'm getting used to the dankness now, so it's kind of fading. And I'm getting that kind of nice, you know, uh, the kiwi hops that have that sort of odd tart berry, like the Nelson Sauve, as I've said a thousand times before, has that sort of white wine flavor to it that kind of cuts through, you know. You know what this would be good for? With four? It'd be good with chicken wings. And just so happens, I'm hopefully lining some of them up tonight. Won't do a review of them. Too bad. But yeah, if you can find an Omnipolo near you, because it's brewed in Sweden, it's very possible you can get it in the EU, very possible you can get it elsewhere in Canada and North America. I am going to highly recommend that. Mirror, mirror. On the wall, what's the finest beer of all the moment? It's the one that's in my head. All right. I think I'm going to crash out of this one uh, and get out of here as soon as possible. Thanks for watching now and in the future. If you like the channel and you like beer, 
Um, while I'm in Toronto, if you know any good beers that you can get in Toronto, uh, fire me a comment. Throw one down below because I'm on the hunt. I'm going to go visiting some breweries maybe this weekend, maybe do a little bit of, who knows, Instagramming live and all that kind of stuff from there, if I'm lucky. Um, oh, yeah. Hello, Mike. And um, I will catch you all later. So far, so good in Toronto. I haven't done anywhere near enough reviews. I'll, uh, I'll get on it. Till then, my name is Steve Jagger. This is Beer and a Beer Review. Steve out.